What's up Crusaders? Today's vlog, um, I'm basically just talking about a kid who was discriminated against, in my opinion. He was actually told not to talk because he stuttered. That is horrible. The rest of the kids in this community college classroom had no problem with it, as far as I know. But apparently the professor did. So, for him to go up to the kid and say, you know, no, you're disrupting the class. And then he also told him that he has to write out the questions and answers at the beginning and end of class. Uh, that's discrimination in my book. Regardless if the, the, you know, if the professor had a problem with this, uh, he shouldn't have gone up to the kid because that, imagine how that kid would, I mean, feels right now. And it's terrible. Uh, he shouldn't have a problem with it. But if he did have a problem, like I said, he should have went to, you know, he should have went to the, I don't know, the uh, principal or whatever and said to them, look, you know, this is, uh, you know, I, I can't do this, you know, I'm not comfortable with this, you know, can you move into a class? And they could have rectified it. But for discriminating against the kid, that is not, that's not teaching kids a good moral. Um. And all we've been going through lately with bullying and stuff like that, that is definitely not teaching kids a good example to not bully. I'm sorry, flat out wrong. And I don't know if they're going to take action on this this teacher, professor, or whatever. And I mean, they should. I, I, I don't know if he should be suspended. I don't know if he should be, you know, fired. But he should be basically an example to everyone else that that's not right. And also to the kids. You know, look, if you do this, you're going to get in trouble. So, don't discriminate and don't bully people. Uh, because in my book, that's what this kid was doing. I mean, this, this teacher was doing. Um, regardless of, oh, he stutters. Oh, you know, he has mental problems. Stuff like that. Regardless. Regardless. You don't go up to someone and tell them that. Like I say, you go to someone, tell them you have a problem with this or you're having a problem. And they'll rectify it. It's not that hard, guys. It is not that hard. Um, anyway, let me know what you think about that. I think it's terrible. I think it's discrimination. I've said discrimination about five times in this video or more, but I'm literally pissed off about this. Um, the second video I actually wanted to review was this uh, family. I don't know where it was. I couldn't really make it out, but this guy made a corn maze, and this family went into this corn maze, and it started getting dark, and they got to this bridge, and they got lost. Well, I guess the son was getting really, really upset or agitated, and they called 911. Well, 911 came, they um, sent the dog, you know, canine unit, <laughs> the canine unit got them, and, you know, then they called the manager, and the manager came out and, uh, you know, got them out, um, which, I mean, it would be scary, uh, especially in the dark, you know, if, you know, if you're stuck in a maze and you don't know how to get out, and plus, you know, it's a whole family with kids. I mean, I would be scared. Uh, not only if I was a kid, but I would be scared if I was the adults too. <laughs> uh, because I don't like not knowing where I'm going. Uh, that's just me. But um, it was a good story. I think, I, you know, it had a good ending. But it was also, yeah, I don't know. I Just comment what you think about it. Um, you know, 911, I mean... I think it was a little over the board, but yet they had no other way of getting out, and they were stuck there. So, I mean, ah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna change my opinion and say that was probably a good idea because there's probably no one else in there because it was getting dark, but you know, or no one else in that same little area that they got stuck. But yeah, you know, uh, I would have called my own one uh, if I was scared enough and I was, you know, freaking out. And uh, you know, I mean, they probably could have tried to got out, but I think because a kid was getting upset I think that they just want to get out now and not have to fi figure it out which is okay but they could have tried at least but whatever that's their call that's cool whatever um comment what you think about that 
commonly think about the stuttering kid um, who was uh, discriminated, in my opinion, like I said, again, uh, against in New Jersey. Um, my fun fact slash law. Um, I'm actually going to do a fun, random, crazy law today. In Baltimore, Maryland, it is illegal to take a lion to the movies. So, um, for all you people in the, out there in the internet, YouTube world, if you're thinking about uh, bringing a lion to the movies in Baltimore, Maryland, might want to think that over because obviously someone's tried that. Uh, you know, because obviously, you know, they had to post in the airports that, you know, you can't bring a gun or, you know, onto an airplane. It's like, shoot, I really wanted to bring that line to the movies. You know, shoot, I really wanted to bring that onto there. I mean, come on, really have to say it. It's pretty sad that we live in a society that we have to say that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just absurd to me. I mean, the lions, uh, come on, you know, really. Uh, like I said, obviously someone's done it. Or obviously someone had a idea. Maybe, you know what? Maybe they had it as a pet. I don't. I can't even justify what they did. But anyway, um, comment. You know, like, thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I will see you tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna do a playoff MLB playoff recap. I think Saturday maybe, um, or at the end of the series. Um, Look for that on my other channel. Um, I have that linked under my other channels on my channel. So look for that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Peace.